What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to look at how to get a portfolio up and running really quick. We're going to be using GitHub Pages, which is free. GitHub offers that as a service as part of using GitHub. And it's just, it's small. It's not meant to run your e-commerce website there, or your whole business, but it'll host a, a nice little portfolio you can use to start applying for jobs. And a lot of people ask me this question, where do I start with my portfolio? What does it need to look like? I've done portfolio review videos. And so we're going to, we're going to use some resources to go and find a portfolio boilerplate. I'm going to show you guys how I refactor it, what I look at, remove the things that we don't need, add in some things that we do need, change in a couple of things, you know, just how I take boilerplate and really make it my own. And we'll walk through that. And then I'll show you guys how to host it on GitHub pages and how you can push it up. And then you can start linking that on your resume at the top or wherever, somewhere on your resume, and you can start applying to jobs. So nice, quick way to push up your projects or showcase your projects and you know only takes a few minutes so hope you guys enjoy this video I appreciate you guys you guys are awesome subscribers and uh, I'm very humbled to make these videos for you so hope you enjoy first thing we want to do is go to our website where we're gonna pick a template a portfolio template that we're gonna use there's a lot of different sites you can use you could use like Envato themes just google free boilerplate HTML templates and you'll have to navigate through all of these menus to get to them but eventually you'll get to a free one and they're pretty decent but my website of choice i always recommend is html5 up just because it's easy to navigate a lot of the themes are reusable and you know it's free no hassle so let me show you where that's at it's just html5up.net they're fully responsive intelligent html5 css super customizable and they're 100 percent free so when you're building a portfolio, it's okay to reuse this stuff. Go ahead and use this, restyle it, make it your own. That's what I'm gonna do in this video. Um, it won't take very long, just switch a couple things up. It doesn't even come with the pictures because the pictures you can get from Unsplash. We can come here and we can scroll through and we can get all kinds of cool dev pictures if we type programmer. We can get a whole bunch of cool dev programming pictures that we can add to our sites or to fill in you know, whatever boilerplate we're gonna do. But let me show you what one of these looks like real quick. And then we'll move on to how to host it and all that and how that works. So let's come in here. Let's find one that looks like it would be good for a portfolio or whatever we want our style to look like. Right off the bat, I think this looks pretty decent. This could be like a, an about me page. And then each one of these could be a link to actually see the app that we have. And a little description of each app. And so this button this would be, you know, go to app and this would be C code or C app or something like that. We'll figure that part out, but I think this looks okay. Nice little headline, has a little date. We could take that off. We don't need these tabs up here. I don't think this is too much for us. So we'll go ahead and we'll download this and we'll modify it to basically be what we want. Remove all this extra stuff we don't need real quick. So let's go ahead and click download. Open this up. I already have a page made here this little project. I'll delete this actually, and I'll make a new one. So we'll just call it project. We'll extract this stuff into the folder. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna open with code. Visual Studio Code should open up here. If I come over here to index, and move this down a little bit here. So we can see the code. And I should have go live unless that extension is, huh, it's not showing up down there. No big deal. So I'll right click, I'll open with live server. What should happen is that it opens up a new tab for me here. All right, so we have, we'll put our code on the right and our page over here on the left. And so we can just kind of immediately come in here and see what's going on. We can just kind of edit things as we go. So this is massively, we'll change this here to be you now my, my portfolio. And I don't necessarily think we even need that part. So I'll save this. It should instantly update over here on the left. I'm using an extension called Live Server, by the way. You can find that here. If you just type live, you'll see Live Server. You can come in there and download that. If you're wondering what that is, it's super convenient. Um, so you can just edit HTML and CSS in real time. And as soon as you click save, it updates over here on the actual page. Super convenient. If you want to use SAS, you have to get another thing called watch SAS. Um, but that's kind of outside the scope of this video. So my portfolio, 
And there's a little description here, uh, free fully responsive template designed by blah, blah, blah. So we'll just call this, uh, we don't we don't really need all that stuff. So um, this is my showcase of my projects and my abilities. As I said, it doesn't come with these images. Yeah, empty images that we could use, but we're also, we're also pretty zoomed in. So let me reset this. Okay, so there is the tabs that we, we want to take care of. So let's go ahead and find generic page, elements reference, those two. So those are right here. I'll remove those. Cool, so now we only have this one tab, um, which is kind of noticeable, but depends on how you want to do that. I'm, I think I'm just going to leave as is. And if it's your choice, if you want to hook up these social media links or not, I personally wouldn't hook up Twitter Facebook or Instagram, but I would leave LinkedIn and then maybe change one of these here to be like maybe LinkedIn. We're using Font Awesome. That's already included. We can see over here on the classes we have uh, Font Awesome dash GitHub. So we'll change this to be uh, LinkedIn. And then I think I'll remove these other two. There we go. Now we have LinkedIn and GitHub. And so then it's your choice to connect those. And to do that, you would just fill in these little hashtags right here to go to your website. And it has a date, April. Yeah, so we don't actually need that. That looks kind of weird. I think it would look better if we just took that out. My name is Joshua Fluke. This is Massively. So anyways, you'd come in here and you'd fill in this text, get this stuff looking good. Maybe you could have a picture of your, you know, one of your most, one of the apps that you're most proudest of could go here and then we would change full story to be, check it out. And then these here would be your sub projects. So I'll just show you what I mean by that. We'll remove the dates because that's weird. We don't necessarily need the date when we made that project. That might actually harm you. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these dates and we'll come in here and I'll just do some real quick, right? So we'll just do project one, copy that. Change that to two. And then I actually don't think we need these other articles because we'll just pretend like we have two projects for now. So that's fine. Save this. So project one, project two. And then we have some pagination down here. We don't actually need this pagination because if we're not making a blog with this, we're making a portfolio with this. And then we have a little contact form down here. Uh, this isn't actually going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this form. And now we have an address, phone, email. So this would work best, I think. And then again, we have our social icons down here. So that's it. We have a super easy portfolio. So you can actually come in here and kind of like reverse engineer and look at all of the different files that it comes with, We've got CSS, fonts, JS, it comes with a couple of JS files. Uh, so this is how I came here to look and see how responsive websites were built. If we come back over here to the index, we can scroll down some more. It doesn't actually look like this is using Bootstrap. It's using probably, I guess, media queries or something. Yeah, so this is actually using media queries to get this to be responsive. So it's not coming with Bootstrap. Some of them come with Bootstrap, I think. So we'll come in here. Yeah, so essentially we have our basic bare bones portfolio. You would fill this out to be how you want. You know, click click here to see the project, click here to see the code, project code, and then you just fill out this contact information. Um, I probably would take your phone number off the internet and then have your email, maybe not an address either. Then it's your choice if you want to fill out these social icons again. All right, so now we want to host this. We want to host it for free. We don't want it to be too complicated. We just want to get it up and running, something that we can just modify um, on a whim. And we're going to use GitHub Pages, which is free. It's not meant to host like your e-commerce website or to host like your actual business. It has a limit of about one gigabyte. And if you go over that, it might not actually be able to serve your website. So to do that, we go to github.com. I'm already signed in here. If you haven't made an account, go ahead and make an account. You'll come to this page. And I think we're a little zoomed in here. So let me go ahead and zoom out. Okay, so this is my page. Come over here, repositories. And we'll make a new repository. And to use GitHub pages, you make a new repository with your name for GitHub, your username for GitHub, dot GitHub, dot IO. So my name over here on the left is Joshua Fluke. 
And then on the right for the repo name, repository name, joshuafluke.github.io. Go ahead and click create repository. You don't need to necessarily know how to use Git from command and stuff. That's kind of outside the scope. You can go watch another video on how to get set up with, with Git using Git from the terminal and stuff. But luckily, you can actually do this just by uploading stuff. So right here, there's a little upload existing file. So we clicked on upload your files, that little button. It takes you to here. We have our project folder here that we downloaded and extracted to earlier. We'll open this, copy these, drag them over here. You can't drag the folder itself in here. You have to drag the individual files because this needs to have an index as one of the main files so it knows what is your homepage pretty much of the site. You can have a lot of different files in here, but the index is the one that's going to get shown as the website. Okay, so we'll scroll down here to the bottom. We need to commit, which means like actually save it and push it up to GitHub. So we'll just do initial commit, commit the changes. So this up here at the top, joshuafluke.github.io will actually be the website when this is done processing my files. So these were the project files that we extracted. We don't actually want to, you know, normally keep this readme in here, right? Because you you just don't need all this information. You, you're redoing this to basically make it yours. So I'll come up here to settings, that little gear icon. And we'll scroll down. You can see your site is published at, so I'll click that. And we can see that our portfolio is now hosted. Scroll down. My name is Joshua Fluke. I'm a passionate developer. More importantly, I'm passionate about technology. Check it out, project one. And, and that's it. We are now hosted. And so you could either delete this repo and do the whole process again, or you can learn how to use Git and connect this to your command line, which is what I recommend you do. And that way you can just push up changes to your code through the command line to your hosted portfolio. No problem, super easy, super quick. Hope this was helpful for you guys. This is just a quick and dirty way to get up and running with a portfolio. And hopefully the tips that I gave you to modify the portfolio give you an idea of what you could do with different different styles, different pieces of uh, boilerplate that you could download from HTML5 up. That's it, those are my tips. Hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you. I have a PO box if people wanna send me stuff. If you do send me stuff, I'll open it on camera as long as it's not like gonna get me demonetized <laughs> um you know be sure to check out my resume portfolio on the website because they support the channel and they've gotten a lot of people jobs so i'll see you guys in the next video